So as of now we are going to fo- following calendar, right? So what is the max date on the calendar? Can guys anyone tell? Only Sorry, tell me. One twelve two thousand twenty two. No, no, no. I am not asking the current date. Current date. Current what is the max, max date, date in a calendar history? Thirty first or thirty? Okay, thirty first. Okay, on which month? Twelfth. Okay, twelfth. Okay, year. Two thousand twenty two. Again, twenty three. It will come right. Yeah. Twenty three also is there, right? So how it will come? Ah, yes. Max yes. date means end of the calendar. What is the end of the calendar? End of the date. Day one. So end of the date means so so as of now we are going to four year four years calendar, right? So why 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 we are going to follow the why 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 calendar? <laughs> This is a format, right? So as of now, we have the end date, end of the max of the calendar means thirty-one nine 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 nine. So this is the end of the calendar, max date of the calendar. Means we don't know after that ten thousand is there or not. We don't know as of now. Still not yet implemented. Okay. As of now, only four digits years only they implemented. Correct? Yes, sir. So this is the max date of the calendar year. Okay, there is no ten thousand. I don't know. We we still we don't have that software. As of now, the software will came only D D M M Y Y Y format only. D D M M Y Y Y Y. This format only is there up to now. There is no five years calendar as of now. Okay, D D M M Y Y Y Y only is there. So based on this one. This is the your max end of the day calendar, max date of the calendar. So this date going to mention as a end date. Okay, they are going to end will be max date for active records. Always will be max date. They are going to give a max date. Means still is active. It, from today onwards, I don't know how much uh, how many years will be there. My salary will be fifteen hundred. And uh, department twenty, but still is active. From today onwards, it will be the, that is the reason they are going to give the end date. Then, for example, today date zero one twelve twenty twenty two. From today onwards, twelve okay, zero one can make it. From today onwards, my information will be my salary will be fifteen hundred, and I am under. Department twenty, like that is going to store into the here. The come to the historical data. So these two are the active records, right? So it's going to store the active records. End date will be active. This one. What are the date they are going to join the date? For example, zero one, zero one, twenty twenty two. I am going to give some default date. What are the data is there? Okay, like that. Now come to the historical data. So this date, the end here, the from date should be the old date, end date. Here, zero one, zero one, twenty twenty one. Example, I am saying from twenty twenty one, zero one zero one twenty twenty one to twelve one twenty twenty two, his salary will be fifteen hundred. He is under tenth department. So his historical data is zero. Clear, guys? So like that, they are going to maintain. Then same case here also. Okay, so here will be come to the old date. What are the data is there from twenty twenty? See, see guys, understand here from twenty twenty two, twenty twenty two, twenty twenty one, his salary will be thousand and ten. Twenty one to twenty two, his salary will be fifteen hundred and is under department ten. So twenty two to still date means end date means still is an active so fifteen hundred to twenty so like that they are going to maintain the SCD one so based on these three columns we are going to differentiate the which which record which column is active record which are which are the historical record and what is the changes the previous historical changes clear guys 
So, like that we are going to differentiate in the real time guys. Any doubt here? Because this is the mandatory question and we have to work on the real time. It's a very complex part to do. So, we have here only 3 columns are there. But the real time 100 columns will be there. The 100 columns, 50 columns, more than 100. 200 columns also it will be there in the tables. So, in that case, so it's very difficult to handle this kind of situations in the real time. It's a very, very complex part in the ETL testing. What is the complex part is the SCD type 2 handling. That's why 90% of the tables are SCD 1, 10% of the tables are SCD type 2 tables are there. Okay. We can't handle this, this very situation, is very tough this handling the SCD type 2. That is the reason they are going to mandatory question, they are going to ask in the interview point of view, what is SCD type 2, how you are going to handle the SCD type 2 data, how you did the validation. So, this question is a mandatory question for you. Okay. So, you have to tell SCD type 2 means, if any modifications happen in your source data, existing source data, we are going to add as a new record into the target table. So, based on the from date, end date and active flag, I am going to differentiate the which are the active records, which are the historical records. For active records, the active flag equal to 1, uh, end date should be max date, that is 1230, 1231 and 9999 like that they are going to def define. For historical data, the active equal to 0, the end date should be updated date, end date should be updated date. Based on that, I am going to differentiate the, I am going to validate the SCD type 2 logic. This is what you have to tell in the interview, interview point of view. Clear guys? So, if any modifications happen here, any changes happen, for example, now tell me guys. So, one more change I am going to do here. So, Gangi is going to, so 3500, now tell me what happened this record, tell me guys, now. If I run the job, so this data is going to load into the my target table. Okay. If I here changes happen. Now one not three. The, yeah, what is here? It will it will come in the uh, surrogate key. One not three. One not three. No, no, surrogate key. I'm, I'm talking about the surrogate key column. What it's it will come here? Six. 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 Because the based on the current value, always it will go to the next value. Okay. Uh, okay. Here one one zero one three. One not three. Yeah. And the Gangi, yeah, Gangi, 3500, 3500, 10, department 10, all example, one, today date, two date, two. Today date, guys. For this change up in the and today yes, date. What happened? Today date, 12, 12, 1, 2022. 2022, fine. And current uh, max date. Yeah, it will come to the max date. 12, 31, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, Update in the end date in the previous record. Oh, end date, end date. Yes, okay. Sir. Or sometimes they are going to from date minus 1. The, depends upon the project, they are going to handle the either from date or from date minus 1. Means 1 minus 1 means 11, 1, 20, 20, 20, it will come. One. Okay. And zero. This is going to zero. 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 So, like that is going to differentiate. But we are not going to touch in the existing records. In this situation, SCD type 2, we are not going to touch in the existing record. We are going to handle the new record and then based on that, here it is going to overwrite. Clear guys? This That's is sure. happening in the SCD type 2. This is very, very complex part in the ETL validations for us. Okay? Any doubts guys? SCD 1 and SCD 2? Slowly changing dimension type 1 and type 2. Okay. Now come to the SCD type 3, guys. Okay. This is SCD type 2. 
one more will be acid type 3 is there okay acid type 3 so in the acid type 3 for example your source table will be emp underscore src okay so employee number employee name okay for example uh, your location i'm going to take the location guys here salary and the location okay so like that i'm going to take a uh, one example okay here we are going to implement on the particular column here also they are going to implement on the only few columns guys not for they not they can't implement all the columns the series type 2 either one or two columns only they are going to implement the series type 2 for example here 100 100 columns are there out of 100 columns maybe they applied a series type 2 these two columns means so if is there any modifications on these two columns then only it will add as a new record there is no modification on these two columns then it won't add as a new record okay i am explaining that one also okay so emp source employee number employee name salary and his location so these are the records are there or if you remove the salary only location you can take 